I'm Urban Affairs Director Nikki Capehart. We are excited to have the opportunity to share an update with you on the new South St. Pete Community Redevelopment Area, what we call the CRA. We recently celebrated the first round of funding to businesses in the CRA with a matching grant from the tax increment financing dollars. While this plan has been in the making for years, with considerable public input, many people still ask, what exactly is the vision of the South St. Petersburg Redevelopment Plan? The plan calls for revitalizing South St. Petersburg by taking an approach to promoting reinvestment in three pillars of focus, housing and neighborhoods, commercial corridors and business development, and workforce development. This approach to revitalization has a direct connection to the businesses in the CRA that will generate an estimated $3.5 million in total project costs. The investment that the business owners and the TIF dollars are jointly making will in turn create an estimated 27 construction jobs and increase the opportunity for each business to hire residents from the CRA neighborhoods in which they are located. The corridor and workforce development component of the CRA is a significant departure from the traditional focus on public improvements that characterize prior city plans to revitalize our downtown, Childs Park, and the area often referred to as Midtown, an area that included the Grand Central District long before the CRA boundaries were set. The rationale behind previous plans was that public improvements would attract private investment and job creation by enhancing the physical environment and illustrating the city's commitment to economic improvement in challenged areas. This approach worked well in downtown, but never fully materialized in South St. Pete. In fact, economic conditions only declined. Since 2000, St. Petersburg has persistently lagged behind the rest of the city across all income measures. Mayor Kreisman, along with his partners on the county commission and city council, are committed to changing that. This year, the city distributed about $468,000 in TIF dollars. These dollars are being reinvested across the CRA in a way that is reflective of how the property tax dollars are received. As mentioned earlier, the Grand Central area was included in the Midtown Strategic Planning Initiative back in 2002 and helps to bring revenue into the CRA. In fact, many of our CRA residents own businesses or are employed in the Grand Central District. The Workforce Development Program will start with 50,000 this year and increase annually. We look to have the workforce providers specifically target CRA residents in the census tracts with the highest unemployment rate and connecting them to training and job placement opportunities that will help to lift them out of poverty. Please remember, there will be another round of funding like this in early 2017, and the revenue is expected to be much higher, perhaps as much as 1.2 million. As is always the case, both the Citizens Advisory Committee and City Council meetings are open to the public. We strongly encourage you to lend your important voice to this innovative and creative process. Thank you for watching. For more information and resources, go to www.stpete.org/cra.